Hey guys, Clay with The Outdoor Project. If you follow First Light at all, you may have seen that they have recently come out with some new gear. Uh, First Light is usually pretty good about teasing some of their new drops. As you may have seen that vinyl harness uh, that they've now announced officially, but uh, you saw that in probably several videos and pictures and things like that of some of uh, First Light's ambassadors. This is a product that I didn't see um, them teasing a whole lot. Now, it doesn't mean they didn't, uh, there's a good chance I probably just wasn't paying close enough attention. But they have come out with the Furnace Hoodie. Uh, this is a piece I'm super excited about because I like having hoods uh, in some of my mid layers there. Not everyone does, uh, but I kind of prefer it. I love the Furnace line that they already have out. I do own their Furnace Henley and their Furnace Quarter Zip. Those are two pieces that are kind of staples in my layering system and I'm usually wearing one or the other um, in essentially anything under probably 50 degrees, which in South Dakota where I do most of my hunting is almost all the time unless we're late, late spring turkey um, or if we're early archery deer hunting. So I'm super excited about it. Uh, with this launch, they have also come out with a new solid color, Terra. This is essentially a brown color this color is something that they use in all of their camel patterns currently so it's definitely been a staple color for first light but they have now offered it in a solid color i love the color uh, i wasn't quite able to pull the trigger on um, the new color just because i felt like i would use a different color more uh, when hunting and in my system so i went with the dry earth color so i'll kind of walk you through what I think of the fit and different things like that. Uh, it's going to be the same material as their other furnace layers, their EXP 350 Merino X. Uh, so all their Merino layers are very soft. I'm hoping this feels the same way and, and kind of has the same fit of their other ones. I've seen a few reviews online of this product already and there's been a couple complaints about the fit saying it's kind of a, a tight fit and that you should size up a little bit but if you go on first light's website it does say that this product does fit true to size i'm a little over 6'1 right around kind of 190. Um, i've been pretty consistent with everything across first light as far as um, wearing a size large so that is what i went with uh, i did not size up and go with an xl but uh, we'll see what happens when it comes to clothing on me normally the body fits fine uh, but it's the length uh, on the torso that I, I seem to have a little bit of trouble with so I'll let you know what I think there and then another thing I'm super excited to find out about is the hood on this piece there's a lot of complaints from people who wear first light um, about the way the hoods fit on some of their other pieces saying that they're really tight and they don't like them uh, if you have any experience with the Origin hoodie that they came out with uh, last year, that hood is, is a lot looser. That's more of like a true hoodie feel. Uh, so I'm curious to see what this uh, furnace hoodie is like. So I do have it. It's here. It came in. Um, as you can see, it does have the stitched on logo here. And with the hood on top up here, it does have two snap buttons if you want. Um, and then on the back, underneath the hood, it's got first light stitched in there as well. So I'm gonna try it on and let you guys know what I think. So here it is. As you guys can see, for me, uh, the large is gonna be a perfect fit. Uh, the, the length of the torso is perfect. The length of the arms is perfect. Um, they do have a little bit of a tapered arm in this piece as well, kind of like some of their other ones. Uh, that is more for bow hunting so you kind of have less material here so when you're drawn back nothing gets in the way as i mentioned it does have a couple snap buttons up here um, just kind of with the fit it's not something i would think i would need um, unless maybe i'm wearing this as my outer layer and it's windy i could button it up if need to uh, this product also has um, thumb holes here this is not something that i personally use uh, but if you are a person who likes this option, it does have this um, feature in it. Also, um, it does have like a true hoodie. It does have this kangaroo pouch here. Uh, so this is a big deep pouch, uh, a lot of room here. So I like that feature as well. 
and then um, the hood finally is as you can see kind of more of a looser fitting hood like a true hoodie uh, so it's kind of what I expected uh, but I know that part will make a lot of people happy <laughs> that it's got a, a more relaxed fit when it comes to that hood so as you can see this was a perfect fit for me the large I did not need to size up um, so I guess my recommendation would be if you're gonna buy this stick true to your size um, and again it does have kind of a slimmer fit fits a little closer to the body which I like um, in those stream, extreme cold weather situations if you have to layer up a bunch uh, you can get bulky really quick so I like kind of that slimmer fit to it um, again some people don't like hoods because when you do layer it can kind of bulk up in the back here um, on your neck I like hoods like I mentioned that way if I do need to shed layers uh, I can still throw my hood up and keep some of that heat so again this is a merino layer if you have any experience with merino uh, merino wool specifically you know that sometimes it does give off kind of a funky smell um, I don't smell it right now uh, usually it, it's most exaggerated after you wash it um, I don't dry any of my merino wool I hang dry it preferably outside if I can um, to me that helps kind of mask that scent a little bit uh, some people have an issue with the smell of merino um, personally I think the scent conversation gets taken a little bit out of hand sometimes. Um, I know there's people who use like the ozone closets and go all out, um, and I know other people who don't really pay any attention to that. Um, personally, in my opinion, I obviously like to control my scent as much as I can. Um, I don't have an ozone closet or anything like that, but really at the end of the day, you need your wind to be right, um, and that's going to matter a lot more than, than your scent. So again in my opinion but um, there's a lot of different options out there when it comes to hunting clothing like I said first light's my preference it's what I use it's consistent I like the way it fits me uh, I like the way it keeps me you know comfortable out there there's a lot of different layering options and so there I'm a big fan of their layering system Tucker on the other hand he's a, he's a sick guy that's fine like I said it's all personal preference on you know what's going to make you the most comfortable out there so first light knocked it out of the park with this hoodie i can see myself wearing this all the time uh this would probably if i had to guess replace my quarter zip um obviously it doesn't have a hood it's got a little bit of a thicker collar uh, but i see myself wearing this over that and then um obviously i can see myself wearing this around um, when i'm not hunting as well too so that's all I have for this video. If you guys haven't already, go check out our Instagram and follow us there at the.outdoor.project. And if you haven't already subscribed to us on YouTube, do that now. Thanks everyone, we'll catch you next time.